Hello students and welcome to the channel. So in this video, we are going to continue with the heating effects and now we are going to talk about the heating effect on dicarboxylic acids. So this is a pretty important topic and you find questions related to the heating of dicarboxylic acids so many times in competitive examinations. Like what do we get on heating oxalic acid? What do we get on heating malonic acid? So such questions are very, very common. And I am going to crystallize all the information which is present in different, different portions of your textbooks at one common place. Okay? So I, let us get started with the heating effect on dicarboxylic acids. Okay? So first of all, what is a dicarboxylic acid? Beta, dekho, we all know that carboxylic acid is C double bond OOH. Okay? And this is your carboxylic acid. So what is a dicarboxylic acid? Any molecule which contains two such functional groups, just may do acid groups only that will be known as a dicarboxylic acid. So the general structure of a dicarboxylic acid can be drawn like this. C double bond OOH. This is one carboxylic acid. CH2 whole and beef may put carbon again. Okay. And C double bond OOH. So this is the general structure of any dicarboxylic acid. Now, when we heat such a compound, when we heat such a molecule, what product will we get? So the product will depend upon the value of this N. So different, different carboxylic acids give different products upon heating. Okay. And now comes the very beautiful trick to memorize the heating effect of dicarboxylic acids. As I told you, the product is going to depend upon the value of this N beta. Okay. So when N is zero or N is one, jab N ki value zero or one ho, then this carboxylic acid on heating will lose CO2. So there will be loss of CO2. For N equals to 0 and 1, there will be loss of CO2. For N equals to 2 and N equals to 3, there will be loss of H2O. Okay, loss of H2O. Very beautiful trick. And believe me, this is all that will be asked in the exams. And for N equals to 4 and N equals to 5, this is only up till 5 we are going to study because that is most important for exams. So for N equals to 4 and 5, there will be loss of CO2 as well as H2O. Okay, loss of CO2. This is loss, loss of CO2 and H2O. So this is it. That summarizes the heating effect of dicarboxylic acids. Let me take some more specific examples. So I am going to start with the first one when N is 0. So when N is 0 beta, this acid is known as oxalic acid. Okay. I will also tell you a beautiful trick to remember their names. This is known as oxalic acid. So question will be asked, what do we get on heating oxalic acid? So for N equals to 0 and 1. See, beach mein there are no carbons. What is N? The number of carbons in between the two carboxylic acids. Okay, this is N. So I hope you all can see that here N is 0. There is no carbon in between. So when we heat such an acid, when we heat such an acid, there will be a loss of CO2. There will be a loss of CO2. You just make it lose CO2 and now your product will be HCOOH. Okay, CO2 is lost. This H comes over here. HCOOH plus CO2. This is your very popular formic acid. So oxalic acid on heating forms formic acid and carbon dioxide. Let me take N equals to 1. So this is CH2COOH and COOH. Okay. This is your malonic acid. This is your malonic acid. Naam ra, yaad rakhne ki technique kya hai? Ohm's gap. Ohm's gap. Okay. Ohm's gap. So oxalic, malonic. Heat karo. What will happen? What will happen? There will be loss of CO2. Loss of CO2 will happen and your product will be H will come over here. Give this H to this. You will be getting CH3COOH. This is acetic acid plus CO2. So malonic acid on heating will form acetic acid plus CO2. Moving forward. Moving forward. Ohm's gap. Okay. So O has happened. M has happened. Next we come to Ohm's. Ohm's. S. So now we take 2CH2. This is succinic acid. This is succinic acid. Dicarboxylic acid also known as succinic acid. Okay. So now see what has happened over here. You have two carbons in between. You have two carbons. So when you heat it, what did I tell you beta? Okay. For two and three, there will be loss of H2O. Loss of H2O. So you have to make it uh, lose H2O. So this is how H2O will be lost. And this time your product will be an anhydride. 
CH2, CH2. This is C double bond O. This is also C double bond O. C double bond O, C double bond O, and one O will be left. Okay, so this is your succinic acid. Okay, what is the name of this acid? This is succinic acid, and this is succinic anhydride. Succinic, succinic anhydride will be the product. Okay, everybody, very quick, very quick loss of H2O. And if you want, you can write plus H2O over here. Now you might wonder that sir, why were you not forming the anhydride in the previous examples? So, but I see when this forms anhydride, this ring, this particular ring is your stable five-membered ring. Remember, five and six-membered rings are stable. Okay. So if you try to form the anhydride over here, so you will get a four-membered ring. Milegi. You will get a four-membered ring which will not be stable. Okay. So these acids do not form anhydride. So here there will be loss of CO2 for 0 and 1. For 2 and 3, there will be loss of H2O. Okay. So similarly, now you can think on your own for the next one. Succinic Ohm's gap. Ohm's gap. Next is glutaric. So now I am going to take CH2, CH2, CH2. 2 and 3. Okay. And this is C double bond O, OH. And this is also C double bond O, OH. So on heating, what happens? There is loss of H2O. Loss of H2O. This is Ohm's gap. So this is your glutaric acid. This is your glutaric acid. Glutaric acid. And on heating, it will give you anhydride. So very quickly, I am drawing the structure of anhydride. It will be a six-membered ring. Okay. It will be a six-membered ring like this. And here you oxygen laga do, And here you will get a double bond. Okay. So I hope you can visualize this. This will be a six-membered ring, glutaric anhydride plus H2O will be lost. Plus H2O will be lost. Okay. And after glutaric, Ohm's gap. Next is adipic acid. So adipic acid, mein what is going to happen, guys? Adipic acid, mein we are going to take, uh, now how many carbons will we take? We will take four and five carbons. See, we have covered till here. Okay. Till three we have covered. Now it's the term for four and five carbons. So I'm just taking one more example. Okay, so for four carbons, CH2, 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 CH2. Four carbons. And here you have C double bond O, OH. And here also you have C double bond O, OH. Okay. And you are heating it. This particular acid, isko hum log bolenge, what will it be called? This will be known as Ohm's gap. So this will be adipic acid. And the acid after that is called pimelic acid. So for N equals to, 4 and 5, for N equals to 4 and 5, there is loss of CO2 as well as H2O. CO2 as well as H2O. So how do we think about the product? Dekho, isko aise ke likho. Isko thoda sa, just invert it slightly. You write OH on this side and double bond O on this side. Okay? So ab dekho, what do we need to do? We need to remove CO2 as well as H2O. So CO2 or H2O yahan se remove kar do aap. And now you will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbons and a double bond. So my product will be cyclopentanone plus CO2 plus H2O. Okay. So that sums up the heating effect on dicarboxylic acid. And now very quickly we are going to do certain salt examples. Okay students. So very quickly let us do some salt examples. So you can see a dicarboxylic acid over here and we are heating this dicarboxylic acid. So we are supposed to tell that what product will be formed. So this is dicarboxylic acid. And remember, you always have to count the number of carbons between the two COH groups. So between the two COH groups, there is one carbon. And for zero and one carbon, I told you very specifically that there is loss of CO2. So this will lose CO2 on heating. And if it loses CO2, you will give this H to this carbon and your product will be CH3, CH2, COOH, which is nothing but propanoic acid plus CO2 will be evolved along with it. Plus you will get CO2 gas, which will be released. Joe release over. Okay. Hello. Next question. Uh, again, we see a dicarboxylic acid. Fir se hume dicarboxylic acid. We can see over here. And now again, if we count the carbons between the two COH, okay. So dekho, par there is one carbon. And for 0 and 1 carbon, again, there is a loss of CO2. So again, there will be a loss of CO2. And what do we get? We get over here and you will be transferring this H to this carbon. Here CO2 remove, karo, give this H to this carbon. 
सो दिस विल बी योर प्रोडक्ट साइक्लोहेक्सेन कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड साइक्लोहेक्सेन कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड प्लस सीओ टू गैस विल बी एवॉल्व ओके एग्जाम्पल नंबर थ्री एग्जाम्पल नंबर थ्री माई डियर स्टूडेंट इज अ वेरी पॉपुलर एसिड इसका एक कॉमन नेम भी है काफी इंपॉर्टेंट है इट इज नोन एज थैलिक एसिड लिखते यहां पर पी है बट दैट पी इज साइलेंट सो दिस इज नोन एज थैलिक एसिड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डू रिमेम्बर द कॉमन नेम बेनजीन रिंग ऑर्थो पोजिशन पर वन टू पोजिशन पर देर आर टू सीओ एच ग्रुप सो दिस एसिड इज नोन एज योर थैलिक एसिड ओके स्पेलिंग आई थिंक आई हैव मिस स्पेल्ट इट आई विल जस्ट करेक्ट रेक्टिफाई दिस डोंट वरी ओके सो दिस इज थैलिक पी एच थैलिक ओके आई थिंक आई वॉज राइट ओके थैलिक जस्ट चेक इट फ्रॉम एनी डिसेंट ट्रस्ट वर्दी सोर्स ओके सो आई एम राइटिंग इट थैलिक एसिड ओके थैलिक एसिड सो दिस इज योर थैलिक एसिड एंड अगेन वी हैव टू स्टडी द हीटिंग इफेक्ट नाउ तो नाउ सी बिटवीन द टू सी एच ग्रुप देर आर टू कार्बन यहां पर दो कार्बन है बिटवीन द टू सी एच ग्रुप सो वॉट विल हैपन ओवर हियर फॉर एन इक्वल्स टू टू एंड थ्री यू गेट एन हाइड्राइड यू गेट एन हाइड्राइड सो दिस विल लूज एच टू एंड यू विल गेट थैलिक एन हाइड्राइड so very important question thalic acid what does it form on heating kya banata hai heat karne par it forms the thalic anhydride okay like this and h2o is released okay for 2 and 3 you will get loss of h2o and for 0 and 1 you will get loss of co2 and for more than 3 that is 4 and 5 you get loss of co2 as well as h2o where the product is a ketone now again look at these two acids okay try to look at them at once can you see that they are geometrical isomers yes okay they are geometrical isomers this particular acid is known as maleic acid okay very important common name and this particular acid is known as fumaric acid okay the cis form is known as maleic The trans form is known as fumaric. कैसे याद रखोगे? Trans means far. Fumaric begins with F. Okay. Trans means far. Begins with F. Fumaric, maleic. Okay. And now we are heating it. So again, between the two COH groups, there are two carbons. There are two carbons. Okay. So two carbons हैं, तो there will be formation of anhydride. Loss of H2O will happen. Loss of H2O will happen, and we will be getting the product as maleic anhydride. our product will be this has been asked in neat a uh, few years back i don't remember the exact year but ye neat mein question aa chuka hai maleic anhydride je me bhi ek bar shayad pehle aaya hai this is maleic anhydride maleic anhydride maleic anhydride okay and what about this what about this by here also between the two coh groups you have two carbons but beta here you will not get the anhydride kyunki see If you have to remove H2O like this, then both the COH must be present on the same side. And in the trans isomer, okay, in the trans isomer, both the COH are on opposite side. So, itti dur se they will not be able to lose H2O. Acha, we all know that about the pi bond rotation is restricted. So, ye idhar aani sakta hai. This cannot go into this. So, for fumaric acid, which is the trans isomer, there will be no heating effect. Very important point. You will not get any product. And finally, last two problems. So here we see between the two COH groups, what do we see? We see one, two, three, four carbons. So four and five carbons के लिए there will be loss of CO two, CO two as well as H two O. So CO two और H two O दोनों loss होगा. So CO two और H two O बना लेते हैं. And then we will get a six member ring, and this will form a ketone. So one, two, three, four, five carbon. So one more five member ring. and double bond oh this will be a ketone okay so these will be the three products i will get and finally the last problem which will complete our topic after this very quickly so this is again a dicarboxylic acid and in between we have 1 2 3 4 carbons so four carbons hain so it will be loss of co2 and h2o okay and how will you think of the product very quickly tell me therefore co2 or h2o loss hona hai to aisa karo isko do one thing कि दोनों COH को सेम साइड पे करके बना लो सो यू विल गेट अ बेटर विजुअलाइजेशन सो आई एम जस्ट ड्रॉइंग अ बिगर स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो आई एम ड्रॉइंग COOH ओवर हियर ओके जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ योर क्लैरिटी एंड वन COOH ओवर हियर सो नाउ व्हाट विल हैपन ओवर हियर स्टूडेंट्स इज दैट देयर विल बी अ लॉस ऑफ H2O 
एंड देर विल बी अ लॉस ऑफ सीओ टू क्योंकि फोर कार्बन है ना बीच में तो फोर और फाइव कार्बन में सीओ टू रेस्ट वो दोनों लॉस होता है वेरी सिंपल और बस फिर इनको आप ज्वाइन कर दो तो यू विल गेट मतलब यू विल गेट अ प्रोडक्ट लाइक दिस ओके यू विल गेट अ प्रोडक्ट लाइक दिस राइट सो दिस विल बी योर प्रोडक्ट ब्रिज हेड टाइप ऑफ कंपाउंड ओके सो दैट कंप्लीट हीटिंग इफेक्ट ऑन डाई कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड इफ यू हैव लाइक द वीडियो do share your thoughts in the comment section and uh, do not forget to subscribe the channel and share it with your friends if you have liked it okay so i'll meet you in the next video with more heating effects till then take care of yourselves bye bye and stay safe my dear students